All right. So to begin things, let's log into our user. In today's video, we're going to be talking about uh, startup programs, programs and features, services, and we're also going to discuss a little bit of navigating the operating system and different ways to get to different areas because uh, if you have a preferred method of moving around the operating system and you find one way faster than the other or you can do a specific thing faster than you can do another then saving time is always very beneficial so as you can see in case you weren't really watching when we first logged on there we had Skype uh, open up right here at the bottom it wasn't on our taskbar it just opened up and put itself there so in my opinion Skype is pretty notorious for uh, wanting to be in your startup programs it always wants to open right away and I think it's kind of full of itself in that uh, in that aspect that it always thinks that you want to use at the moment you turn on your computer and for me that's not the case so the first thing I always do when I install Skype <coughs> is remove it from the startup features and there is an option while you're installing Skype to not include it in your startup uh, or sorry when you're installing Skype to not s include it in your startup programs but a lot of people overlook that and they don't even realize when they are installing it so I'll quickly show you how to do that now if you hit your start button there and you go to the typing box or the search box you can type in msconfig and you can see right there the option comes up and it's under programs but if you, if you want to you can click it right there and that's usually how I do it so then your system configuration menu opens but I don't necessarily always do it that way and neither does everybody else another way to get there is by opening the run box so by hitting the Windows key plus R you can open this run command and if you type in msconfig.exe and hit OK or press enter it still opens up that system configuration menu so there's the first way that I'm going to show to get to a different area of the system two different ways same thing so here we have a few different options. We have general, boot, services, startup, and tools. Now the two we're going to focus on right now are services and startup, but I'll start with startup. Now under here we see VMware tools and Skype. VMware tools we discussed previously and I said that it's good to have, so we're not going to want to disable that, but Skype we are going to want to disable. And by unchecking the box and hitting apply, it'll remove that from our startup features. And this can be beneficial in terms of security and just general use of a PC because if you find your computer is starting up very slow, you may come to this menu and find that there are 30 things wanting to start up right when you log on and it could easily be slowing down your system. And also, in case this is uh, a piece of malware right here, like if this was a key logger or uh, just some any other virus, uh, obviously you wouldn't want to have that there so you could uncheck it hit apply and now it's no longer going to be starting up when we uh, boot up our computer and now also we have the services tab now this menu is obviously littered with a ton more things and we're not going to be able to go through all of them but we can see here at the bottom we have this Skype updater service running and we'll get to uninstalling Skype right now but I don't really want Skype on my PC so I'm just going to say, you know what, I'm going to uncheck this and apply. I do not want Skype on my computer. But another way to be able to see uh, that Skype was running, in, you, in case you didn't want to scroll through all this and read every single thing, is you can come to the top and say, hide all Microsoft services. And by doing this, it narrows it down to everything under the manufacturer column that isn't put there by Microsoft. So by unchecking the Skype updater service and hitting apply, it stops that service so it's no longer running. And I'm going to say, or I'm going to uncheck this box so now it's showing absolutely everything again. And we'll just take a quick scroll through here and one thing I noticed right away is that the server service is running. Now this is a workstation, so of course the workstation service is running but I do not want this to be used as a server which tells me that something is on this PC that's making it run as a server so right away I'm gonna say no I do not want this on there I do not want my computer hosting anything and I'll hit apply to stop that from running but that still doesn't necessarily tell me what's running obviously there's something that's running on here but we don't know what it is and you could look through all of these things to try and determine exactly what's running 
but for right now we're going to skip past that and we'll get back to it later so once again to get to there that was the ms config so come here ms config that opens up your system configuration menu and you have two options to look through here you could look under everything if you wanted to but for right now these are the two we're focusing on so the next thing we're going to look at is I'm going to say you know what I do not want Skype on my computer anymore I'm just going to uninstall it I don't even know who put it on there let's get rid of it the first way to do that is once again just using the search by typing in programs uh, you see this option right here programs and features so if you typed in features you get the same result but that's the first way to get to programs and features the second way is of course to go to the control panel and you can find uh, your programs and features right here and you can click on it that way but the way I often find myself doing it is by hitting computer and going uninstall or change a program at the top so there's three different ways for you to actually get here so the first thing we're gonna do is just uninstall Skype oftentimes you'll find you have dozens of programs installed and you'll have to sift through them all and of course determine which one is not good for your system which one might be making your system more insecure Skype's not really doing anything bad for us but I'm just giving you a general example and if you right click uninstall then it says are you sure you want to uninstall I say yes and you can let the uninstall go but I'm not gonna wait around for that I just want to show you how to do it quickly and as you get the idea then you're good to go and you can also of course here say just uninstall instead of right clicking if that's your preferred method this next option right here on the side it says turn Windows features on or off so by clicking this we get another dialog box and it's full of a ton of stuff which once again like the services menu we saw earlier you may not know absolutely everything that's on here and it might be a little confusing so instead of actually explaining absolutely everything here I'm just going to uh, quickly highlight the two that definitely shouldn't be here and if you want to learn what everything is here by hovering over these items it kinda gives you an idea of what it is it's a quick brief explanation so Telnet client is the first one we do not want on here and it says connect to remote computers by using the Telnet protocol so if you know anything about Telnet it's an insecure method of accessing another machine remotely through your command prompt so I'm gonna say uncheck that and Telnet server allows others to connect to my computer by using the Telnet protocol so if somebody else was running the Telnet client and they wanted to uh, Telnet to my PC I have the Telnet server running so they'd be able to do that by unchecking both of them and then hitting OK we can actually uninstall both of those features and make sure that they're no longer present on our system. Before we do that, I want to go to the services. So once again, by typing in services, we can come up here to our programs and select services, or we can go to our control panel and hit administrative tools, and we'll find our services right there. Likewise, we can go to computer management, we've been to this window before and you can select services and applications hit services and find your services here or the final method pardon me is to hit the windows R key for run and type in services dot and not exe this time but instead msc so here we are at the services window bunch of different ways to get to this one uh, so pick pick whichever one you like the most and just do it that way so now here we have Telnet we can see it under our services it's listed as disabled which is what we'd want it to be because we don't necessarily want it running but we can also see that where it was in our programs and features the Telnet server it also appears right here so if this was enabled then uh, we'd see that it was automatic and I'm just gonna show you what it looks like automatic and start so now this service is started and running at automatic so the startup type being automatic means every time you start up your computer talent's going to be running so under your MS config you'll see it listed there but once again I'm just gonna right click properties go to this window and we can disable it and then stop the service apply okay 
Oh, and also at the same time, instead of right click properties, you can just double click, does the same thing. So we disabled that service, but that's not going to do it all. We want to absolutely get rid of it. So by coming back to our programs and features here, oh, pardon me, I'm losing myself here. I minimize everything. Uh, okay, we're just going to go back to programs and features. There we go. Uncheck Telnet client and Telnet server. Say OK. It takes a few minutes for them to uninstall. And then you'll be done. But the next thing I want to discuss is the task manager right here. So to get to that, I just right click the taskbar and hit, and hit start task manager. And it opens up this window. So a lot of people have probably seen this one before. So I'm not going to discuss it a whole lot, but it does show you which applications are running. So as you can see, we have our administrative tools open, control panels, programs and features, services, and Skype, which are all the things we have open here in the background and located on our taskbar. But there's a few ways to get to the task manager as well. The first way I just showed you, right click, task manager, or we can use control shift escape. We can also use control alt delete oh my bad it sent it to if you if you use a command like control alt, control alt delete by the way it sends it to your actual host system as well so it opens up twice that's what you saw happen there it opens up on the VM and on the actual host but anyways here we can also say start task manager open it that way and of course you can always use uh, oh no my bad oh wait there it is yeah okay task manager you can do a search for it as well so under here processes services performance networking users a lot of stuff here to look at I'll start at this last tab uh, right now it says user is logged in on the console which means they're actually sitting at the physical computer logged in that is me so of course that's uh, that's legitimate but under here if there's multiple users logged on say through a, a remote session and you weren't even aware this is where you'd go to check your networking shows you a bit of network performance your performance shows your CPU usage and your physical memory so your RAM if you had a lot of uh, say for instance uh, if you have viruses or things of that nature on your computer Lots of the time you'll notice that your performance is pretty high and that you're low on system resources. So that's a way to sort of check and maybe get an idea. Although it doesn't really narrow anything down specifically. Services, a lot of stuff here. We've already looked through a lot of the services, but this is also outlining them. And we have our processes. So these are the things that are running in the background right now. Taking up memory, but it says right here, here's a description for all of them. Skype, Task Manager, Task Host, a lot of stuff here. Uh, one thing I do want to say about processes and applications though is sometimes whenever something freezes up, uh, people will often go to the application and say, okay, right click end task. But end task doesn't always do the job. What I like to do is uh, if this process window has a lot of stuff, and it's hard to find something, say you might not be able to easily spot where Skype is on here. I go to the Skype and I say go to process. It finds Skype for you and then I say end process. And that immediately ends it without giving you any other error messages or saying oh this program is not responding. It's a very quick and efficient way to just get things out of your way. But telling that uninstalled, uh, we also have Skype here to uninstall. Let's get rid of that. That'll prepare to remove. We've quickly discussed services, different ways to get there, programs and features, startup features, services. I feel like a good amount of stuff was covered in this video. Uh, so it's kind of a lot to take in. But if you do it yourself a few times, maybe do it on your own computer at home, mess around in a, in a VMware player like I am, and you'll get the hang of it. So that's all for this video, and see you next time.